This is Precalculus V, Unit 2, Lesson 2, Domain and Range of Trigonometric Functions. We're going to look at six trigonometric functions, determine their domain and range. In the last lesson, we, we carefully, step by step, graphed the sine function and the tangent function. I'm not going to go through that again, but it is important to note a couple of things. First of all, we noticed that tangent had asymptotes, right? In particular, where where the 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 unit circle is straight up and down, that resulted in division by zero. The tangent of pi over two was one over zero or undefined. Okay, and that results in an asymptote. The same thing occurs at negative one, at at, uh, at pi at three pi over two. Tangent of three pi over two is also 1 over 0, negative 1 over 0, or undefined. Okay, And so we have all of the, these things that occur that, that produce division by 0. And so it's important to note asymptotes. So when we talk about domain, usually we're talking about areas in which you cannot divide by 0. Okay, And that's going to occur in, in several instances. Let's look at some of the functions here in Desmos. And I thought I had Desmos open. I do, yes. Okay, and so let's let's kind of take a look at each of the functions. Sine x, okay, or f of x equals sine x. Okay, and uh, you you may notice here right now I've got uh, the x scale uh, in in whole units. It's actually more useful to change the x scale to count by to count by multiples of pi. I'm going to say pi over 2. Okay. And radians. Here we go. All right. So as you can see from pi over 2 to 2 pi, it's, it cycles once and it continues to cycle over and over and over again. Notice there are no vertical asymptotes. Okay. So the domain of sine, let's write this down. The domain of sine is all real numbers. Okay, so y equals sine x, or just sine x. The domain is all real numbers. Okay, what about the range? The range is how high and how low it goes. You notice it never goes below negative 1, never goes above positive one. So the, do, the range, the range is inclusive, negative one to one. Okay, let's look at cosine. Okay, so g of x equals cosine. You'll notice it behaves very similar to sine, it's just that it starts at one instead of starting at zero. And you may recall the identity for the co-functions that, uh, that's the same as 90 minus sine x, right? Okay, so they're off at, out, out of phase, and that's a word that we're going to worry about here in, in future lessons. They're out of phase by 90 degrees or pi over 2. Okay, so again, notice there are no vertical asymptotes, so the domain of cosine x So y equals cosine x, the domain is all real numbers. And the range, once again, is from negative 1 to 1 inclusive. Okay. All right, let's go to tangent x. This is a graph that we did by hand. Okay, so tangent x. f of x equals tangent x. Okay. Now, you can't readily see Desmos doesn't graph asymptotes. It just appears as blank regions. So you'll notice at pi over 2, there's an asymptote. At 3 pi over 2, there's an asymptote. At 5 pi over 2, etc. So how do we express that? Okay. Uh, to, to get the repetitive nature of the asymptotes, here's what we can do. Y equals tangent of x. The domain is is x such that 
x does not equal pi over 2 plus n pi, or n is an integer. Okay, that's the symbol for integer. n is a member of, is a member of the set of integers. Okay, so then they usually don't include that here. But just think, just remember, it's pi over 2 plus any multiple of pi. Okay, and that's the, that's the set of the domain. Any, any value of x is okay just so it's not a multiple of pi added to pi over 2. Okay, the range, the range, now look at the range. It extends all the way down and extends all the way up. There are no excluded values. So the range is all real numbers. Okay, let's get into the co-functions here a little bit. Uh, the reciprocal functions. Not the co-functions, the reciprocal functions. The co-function for, or the reciprocal function for sine is y equals cosecant x. And let's, let's graph sine x and uh, cosecant x in the same graph because it'll explain itself. So y equals sine x, y equals cosecant x, which is 1 over sine x. Okay. Notice the peaks correspond, right? The peaks correspond, so at pi over 2, 1, right? Both values are 1. The, because the reciprocal of 1 is 1. The reciprocal of a half is 2. And so you'll notice where it's a half, it corresponds to a height of 2. And so what's the reciprocal of 0? Well, the 0 is 0 over 1. If you flip, that's 1 over 0. That's undefined. So anywhere sine is 0, that 0 at pi, at 2 pi, at 3 pi, at 4 pi, the, the cosecant function is undefined. It's asymptotic there. So the domain is 0 plus any multiple of pi. So the domain is all x such that x does not equal n pi. x does not equal n pi, where n is an integer. Any multiple, any whole number multiple of pi added to 0. So 0 pi, 2 pi, negative pi, negative 3 pi, negative 4 pi, 8 pi, etc. Okay? And the range, the range, we're talking about the blue function, or the, yeah, the blue function. The range seems to be all the way to infinity up here and all the way to a negative infinity down here, but it excludes the values between negative 1 and 1. So the range, let's use, let's use interval notation, the range is inclusive, exclusive, negative infinity, because you can't really include infinity, uh, to negative 1, exclusive, exclusive, union, 1 to infinity exclusive. Okay? And so it excludes or leaves out the, the, the boundaries, and actually negative 1 and 1 are hard boundaries. It includes negative 1 and 1. So it actually does equal 1 and negative 1. Okay, but it excludes any, va any values between negative 1 and 1. Okay, let's do uh, cosecant. That was cosecant. Let's do uh, secant. Okay, secant x. So let's graph, let's graph cosine and secant. y equals cosine x. y equals secant x. And again, we see the same thing. Everywhere cosine has a peak, this has a trough or a mountain, right? And the pi over 2 is a vertical asymptote. That's because cosine is 0 at pi over 2, and the reciprocal of 0 is undefined. So anywhere cosine is 0, secant is undefined. So that's going to be pi over 2 plus any multiple of pi is excluded. So the domain is x such that x does not equal pi over 2 plus any multiple of pi. And the range is going to be just like the previous one, negative infinity to negative 1 inclusive, and from 1 to infinity exclusive but inclusive of the 1. OK, 
Okay, one more trig function, and that is cotangent. Y equals cotangent. Now, one thing, way to remember this is this. Tangent is sine over cosine. So anywhere cosine is 0, it's undefined, right? Cotangent is cosine over sine. So anywhere sine is 0 is undefined, is, is, is undefined. This results in an asymptote. So sine is 0 at 0 and multiples of pi. So I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to predict the domain, the domain of cotangent is going to exclude, exclude any multiples of pi. Because that's where sine is zero. Just looking at your sine, right? Uh, sine, well, sine is zero at, at any multiples of pi. I'm going to re, the, pre, make a prediction. Well, I'm not going to make a prediction about the range. So here we go. Let's do, let's do uh, um, sine x and cotangent x. So again, you'll notice the correlation. Where sine is zero, there's a vertical asymptote. And I want to compare cotangent with, with tangent x. Okay? Notice cotangent has negative slope. It slopes down. Tangent has positive slope. It slopes up. Cotangent has uh, as asymptotes at 0, at pi, at 2 pi, at 3 pi. Cotangent has asymptotes at pi over 2 plus multiples of pi. 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, 9 pi over 2. Okay, so they're very similar, but they have opposite slopes and they don't have the same zeros. Okay, let's get rid of that here. All right, but they are repetitive and they both repeat themselves every pi. Okay, so the range of cotangent is all real numbers. And of course, we could use set notation, so or interval notation, negative infinity to infinity if you want as well, because that means the same thing. All right, so hopefully that helps. Uh, be aware of, of where the asymptotes are, especially when you're dealing with uh, any, any possible division by zero with tangent, cotangent, with cosecant and secant. You don't have any asymptotes for cosine and sine.